Okay, good morning, Grade Seven students. So for now, we will not be having a discussion, but instead, we will be having our short review of your previous discussions. Now, our coverage for this lesson review is the Physical Education Quarter Four, Module Three, the Philippine Folk Dance, which are the Lesson One, Philippine Folk Dance, Sub One, Folk Dances. Lesson 2, Fundamental Positions, Feet and Arms. Lesson 3, Itik Itik Subunga. And last is the Lesson 4, Ohong Ohong. So, all you have to do is to read and familiarize those dance positions because later on we will be having our short quiz to assess if you still remember your previous lessons. So, first is the traditional dances of Sugbo. So, I'm sorry for the typographical error, it's Sugbo. So, as Tunisians people called Malayo Polynesians settled in Sugbo or Zubu, or we used to call this today Cebu. So, we are influenced of Roman Catholic by Ferdinand Magellan during on 1521. So, Philippine folk dances are diverse, including religious, ceremonial, courtship, funeral, combative, exorcism, torture, comic, and dances. So, when you say diverse, it's difference. Many daghan. Philippine steps, a combination of steps or of steps in place, and combination of words. Philippine folk dances are performed with attention to detail and after meticulous rehearsals. So, in Filipino ethnic groups, they still believe that dance means communicating with deity. So while those Christianized Filipinos, they believe that to dance is to plead with or to thank the Virgin Mary or the patron saint. Dances use movements of head, waist, arms, feet throwing, circling, swooping, offering, and crowning. Some dances feature flags, beating with sticks, and swaying motions, such as those of drunk cards. So what are the hand or properties are used? Or we should say, what are the props that the actors or the dancers use? First is the fan, earrings, bench, food covers, hats, fish containers, pots, leaves, floral arches, coconut shells, wooden implements, chopsticks, and may holes. So these are the basic fundamental positions of arms and feet in folk dance. You have to familiarize this because later on this will come out on your quiz. So these are the dance movements of Subunga. First is the duck waddle emphasizes on arm hand coordination with hand flips. Second is duck waddle emphasizes on arm hand coordination with finger flutter. And third is komai komai wrist circle with arms in reverse T position. Last is the ahong ahong. These are the basic moves of ahong ahong dance. Touch step, native waltz, arms in lateral position, and last is komai komai. So now, I guess that we are all set. So all you have to do is to access the provided link. 